Stan Jabalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV Whiskey One Good Vibrations. Here to explain the meanings of the terms vox and anti vox, in case you aren't familiar with them. Uh, they're, they used to be common on single sideband high-frequency HF transceivers, and I believe that you can still find some version on them today, whether they're still called anti-vox and vox. Uh, you know, I really don't remember uh, seeing that on my, on my ICOM transceiver. But back in the olden days, in the 60s, when they had the Drake uh, R4A and T4X, they had Vox and anti-Vox, and my uh, Helicrafters Frank Papa Mary 300 had them, had Vox and anti-Vox. And uh, what they are basically, Vox is voice actuation, so that it enables you to free your hands up. You don't have to push any push to talk button in order to talk in the um, voice mode, which I never use, <laughs> so it's not a concern to me, but uh, Vox is, it takes the audio and senses the audio from your voice and causes the radio to switch into the transmit mode, so you can be receiving and you can say hello testing and it'll click in and, and transmit. Unfortunately, the audio from the receiver can do the same thing. <laughs> if you turn it up too high and you're using a speaker uh, or a, yes, if you're using a speaker, if, you, if you're using headphones, uh, it won't be loud enough. But it'll trip, it'll trip the Vox too, so that you end up getting this horrible chattering sound from your radio and it makes it utterly useless. And that's where anti-Vox comes in which takes the audio from the receiver and essentially, in effect, makes the Vox circuitry in the transmitter deaf to that audio, but still sensitive to other audio. Now, if somebody start, starts up a chainsaw and cuts down a tree uh, right nearby you, uh, it's going to trip your Vox because it can't be deaf to the chainsaw, but it has a phased circuitry in the transceiver part of the radio that enables the receiver audio to be cancelled out and the transmitter Vox circuitry rendering the transmitter Vox circuitry deaf to that receiver audio. That is anti-Vox and you can adjust usually the gain of the anti-Vox, the negative feedback, uh, to get just the right degree of deafness. If you make it too deaf, it won't be sensitive to anything and you won't get any vox. If you don't make it deaf enough and you have too loud of a receiver audio, then you'll get that horrible uh, receiver actuation of the transmitter. Uh, so that's basically what is meant in case you haven't ever heard the terms before. Vox. V-O-X. Uh, what is it? Victor Ocean X-ray, all capital letters usually, and anti-vox, that's uh, just anti-vox. There you have it. In case you didn't know what those terms mean, now you do. And uh, if, you, if you don't, <laughs> it's too bad for you. Says Stan Jibalisco after a hailstorm in the black holes of South Dakota, or Dakota Territory, United States of Antivox. Until next time, I wish that, I wish that sometimes it could make the 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 the, 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 the uh, you know broadcast equipment deaf to the voices of certain politicians, and I will not specify which ones because they change every day. <laughs>
73, which means best regards in ham radio jargon, and so long, which in my Vox irrelevant language means da 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 da.